Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there on YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. And very excited about this one, guys. This is another one of the beers that Jeremy Vincent sent me uh, that I cannot get here in Georgia. This is the S'morest Queen from Lost 40 Brewing out of Little Rock, Arkansas. This is a take on their famous Forest Queen. It is a stout with flavors of graham cracker chocolate and marshmallow so basically a s'mores version of the very renowned forest queen beer uh, stout that they have obviously i've never had this i can't get it here 5.3 percent alcohol by volume i love the label design you've got this on the front side here and then as you turn it around there, sorry for the glare, there's a rabbit that's like made up of like twigs and tree branches all intertwined together with the crown there. Very cool can art. Lost 40 Brewing. I have been wanting to try a beer from them for a long time. Uh, so thanks to Jeremy Vincent, I will post links to both of his channels down in the description below. He has a regular channel jeremy vincent and he has a music channel mystery music he doesn't post regularly but when he does he puts out really good content so go check him out when you get a chance uh let's go ahead and get into this beer so this is a brown stout. It's definitely not black. It's more on the brown side. When I was pouring it out, I could definitely see some brown color coming through. It's pouring with a nice, thick, dark, tan, creamy looking head. Uh, hazy, dark brown color. Can't see through it at all. The aroma's pretty good. Getting some chocolate. Maybe a little bit of that graham crackery note. There's really not too much going on with the aroma. 5.3%. We're looking at a regular stout here. It does say on the side of the label, malt beverage with natural flavors. So marshmallow, graham cracker, chocolate, they probably, you know, that's probably where the natural flavoring is coming from. It does smell very malty. Chocolate, caramel, maybe a little bit of the graham cracker. Marshmallow is not something that you typically, it's not an aroma, really. Uh, if you ever just buy marshmallows and smell them, they don't really have an aroma. It's more in, in the taste. So I'm hoping that that will come through. On the palate, um, my mouth is salivating once again, so without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Hmm. Very interesting. Chocolate. Marshmallow a little bit on the palate. Graham cracker, possibly. Yeah, the graham cracker's there. It's just not as prominent as I thought it was going to be. It's milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. There's really not a ton of roast with this. There's not a ton of the dark roasted barley malt flavor, the, the really dark toasted bread notes that, that I typically get with a stout. It's really not there with this beer. Um, not to say that that's a bad thing. Obviously, the, the chocolate, the marshmallow, the s'mores type components of this beer are shining through. This reminds me a lot of uh, like the Samuel Smith's organic chocolate stout. That's chocolatey and you know, dessert-like, but it doesn't have that roast, that quality that you necessarily expect to get with a lot of stouts. This is, it's a flavored malt beverage, right? So it's a flavored stout. It's not super roasty-toasty, 
it's got a ton of good flavor. It does have a pretty good bitterness to it, actually, on the finish. It's almost like they put, like, Simcoe hops or something in here, or some Cascade, like. Very interesting with the hop profile that I'm getting. Almost like a little citrusy or earthy type thing from the from the hops that they're using in here. Like I said, I don't know what the IBUs are. I'll have to try to look that up, and if I can find out what it is, uh, I'll I'll put it in the description as well. It's a strange stout. If you just gave this to me and told me to drink it and say, "What do you think?" I'd say, eh, "It's a pretty good beer," but I would never guess that this is a stout. It just doesn't have the roasty, toasty notes from a stout. It's it's definitely got the flavoring, the s'mores type flavoring going on, but I don't know. For me personally, it falls a little bit short in the stout category because it's lacking that roasty, toasty character. And although it does have some great chocolate notes and some other stuff in there as well, I guess the graham cracker, the marshmallow, it just is a little bit too light-bodied and... It's not artificially flavored, but it's a flavored beverage, malt beverage, more than it is a stout. It does say on the label, it does say malt beverage with natural flavors, even though they classify it as a stout. And it is, a, I'm not saying that it's not a stout, I'm just saying that it's not really, it doesn't really drink like a stout. Um, I think this is a great beer. It's very strange, though, and... I don't know if I can give it an A. I'm going to give it an 89 out of 100. It is a B plus. It is getting up there towards A. It's a great beer. I would highly recommend it if you live in Arkansas, if you live you know, where you can find the, this beer. It's a great take on a s'mores flavored beer, but it falls a little bit short in the stout department, in my personal opinion. So that's why it gets an 89 out of 100. And it doesn't quite make it into that A range, but it is still a great beer. I would highly recommend it. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for sending it to me. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying it, but I'm always going to give an honest review. So there you go. 89 out of 100 uh, for the Lost 40 S'morest Queen. Definitely worth checking out. I don't know what the price point is. It was free for me, <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's a great beer and uh, it's got a lot of really interesting and unique qualities to it. So with all that being said, 89 out of 100 B plus for the S'mores Queen from Lost 40 Brewing out of Arkansas. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a great day, and until next time, everybody, cheers.